D-Day arrived, and three days after D-Day, we were transported down to Gosport, and uh, we embarked then, the, the complete unit was em embarked on the two landing craft, two LCTs. From landing, we went straight up to the American sector near Tour en Basson. Once we'd positioned the vehicles, the caravans around the hedgerows of this orchard, my job, was, I was given the job of uh, fastening the uh, secure, um, camouflage nets over the vehicles uh, to camouflage the fact that they were there. Um, and I had to fasten them in, in the centre on top of the vehicles. And I was up there tying them together and I heard a, an aircraft come over I glanced up and thought, oh, it's a Spitfire. And then it opened up and fired all the way down through the, through the field. And I leapt off, my toes caught in the net. I hung upside down, uh, much to the uh, amusement of my colleagues. <laughs> my chest banged against the side of the uh, vehicle. And, uh, I thought, well, I'd better brush up on my uh, aircraft recognition. <laughs> it was not a Spitfire. <laughs> but uh, since my legs have decided not to work properly, um, I applied through SAFA and within a very short space of time, I was visited by a lady from the RF Benevolent Fund um, and hence, I, they, they provide me with this scooter, electric scooter, which is ideal. Yeah. It, it makes all the difference in the world about being able to get around locally. Um, because I can only walk for a, a short distance and standing is terrible. It means so much, though, to be able to get into the local town and around. Mm.